Okay, so what actually stays with the house and conveys to the next buyer when you sell? So in the contract, they have some standard verbiage on what stays with the house. But basically the long story short is, if it's glued in, screwed in, if you have to get a bulldozer to rip it out of the house, it usually stays. So all the appliances are gonna stay, the refrigerator, the stove, the dishwasher, uh, the oven. What's not written into the contract in the standard text is the washer, the dryer, and the microwave. So that is technically negotiable, but most people end up leaving the washer, the dryer, and the microwave. If you want to exclude those, let's say you love your washer and dryer, you just bought it, you just have to let us know prior to listing the property that, hey, we're taking the washer and dryer with us and we will exclude it from the listing. Pool equipment also does not convey with the property. So if you have one of those creepy crawly pool cleaners, you know, those, they're not cheap. They're like 500 bucks, uh, but that does not convey with the property. So it's going to determine, you know, if it's written in the contract or not, whether that stays. The last thing, fans, light fixtures, chandeliers, you know, curtains, curtain rods, um, all that stuff stays. So if there's anything in particular, if you have, you know, your great, great grandmother's chandelier that was brought over from wherever and you, you have a real attachment to it and you want to keep that, it's not a problem. You just have to tell the buyer ahead of time and you have to write it in the contract explicitly that, you know, this stays, but all the curtains, all the curtain rods, uh, light fixtures in the bathroom, you know, fans, all that kind of stuff stay with the property unless explicitly written in that it doesn't. So make sure before we list the property, you let us know we have a conversation about anything that is not going to stay with the property. Thanks for tuning in. See you on the next video.